Today is looking like our warmest of the week. We're going to be pushing close to 80, if not touching the low 80s by early afternoon. If you are planning to travel today, west on I-10, start to run into rain near the Panhandle uh, around the afternoon rush. Action News Jack's chief meteorologist, Mike Burris, tracking a pretty strong cold front that will impact the pre-Thanksgiving rush, especially on Wednesday. If you're going west, north on I-95 or eventually I-75 or south on I-95 as well. That may have implications on the busy travel rush at Jacksonville International Airport as well. Wednesday, Sunday, and Monday are the three peak travel days, according to JAX airport officials. Some 14,000 people daily going through JIA. They're encouraging you to get there at least two hours before your scheduled flight and follow all the laws regarding what you can take and not take through security. We've got every angle of travel Travel ahead of Thanksgiving covered for you. First alert traffic team monitoring any significant uh, problems around the Metro Jacksonville roads this morning. Likely going to be a Friday for many people, including local schools that are in session this week at least. We're updating first alert weather and traffic throughout Jacksonville's morning news. A number of storylines developing from Jacksonville. From the overnight hours, a woman shot inside of her apartment in the Arlington area. What we know so far about a suspect continuing to press a uh, bay Meadows apartment complex for the security steps they're taking after a series of tire slashings have occurred over the last several weekends, the most recent occurring this past weekend. And hope uh, is not fading yet for local families who uh, lost three loved ones some a uh, month ago or so. Those three fishermen uh, that left for a trip off the southeast Georgia coast. Uh, some items uh, found off St. Augustine's coastline over the late weekend were continuing to follow that storyline as uh, search efforts continue uh, off the coast of St. John's County in the Atlantic Ocean. These and other stories updated throughout Jacksonville's morning news. We are live and local with you as a partner for you every day from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. on 104.5 WOKV.